I'm on the BMW S1000 Double R. I have 153 miles on this sucker right now. I'm in the break-in period. I'm trying to hit 600. So today we're gonna be going out and just hitting this highway and trying to get 600. I just got out Best Buy. I had to just buy a new microphone for my helmet. I spent 80 on this boy. That's like four times more than what I paid for my last one off uh, eBay, which was the Purple Panda mic or whatever. My last one kind of broke. Uh, actually, a part of it flew off on the highway, one of the pieces, because I had it unhooked. And so that kind of forced me to buy a new one. But I'm ready to rock now, you know what I'm saying? I hope this uh, audio comes out good. Lane split, lane split, lane split. Yeah, I'm still limited to uh, 8,000 RPM until I get the first service. Let me get on the damn highway. I gotta love this bike. Look, look how good it just turns, bro. Like, I'm not even trying, it just turns. Y'all wanna see what a completely bone stock 2022 BMW S1000RR will do before its first service? You're about to find out. First gear. Oh, I did a baby wheelie. Oh my God, woman. There you go. 124 miles per hour. This thing is a slouch. I mean, this thing is so slow. It, the, the woman had time to cut me off. Hopefully, this ain't a cop behind me or I'm fucked. All right, bet. Screw it. All right, I didn't see that. Traffic's faster than me. Coming through. <laughs> no, but did y'all see that baby wheelie back there when I did that pull? That's a little bunny hop. All right, check this out though. I've been waiting to do this forever. I did it the other day. Freaking cruise control, bro. Look at this. No hands. I mean, how cool is this, man? Like, it do not get better than this on a sport bike. I'm sorry. This bike's, the amount of features on this bike is just incredible. That's why I call it my cruiser now, because it's a big step down from the H2, but it also has a bunch of premium features on it that the H2 does not have. So I don't mind riding this bike long distance just for the simple fact that it's got all these nice, comfortable features on it, like heated grips, cruise control. It's got navigation on, on the display. I think you gotta hook up your app to it or something, but you just can't beat it, man. Not for a small bike. These are the type of things you get from BMW, you know, or you expect. When you buy a car from them, you expect all this luxury stuff. Well, when you buy a bike from them, you should expect it as well. Like, the bike wants to go right. Like, I'm leading left, bro. Go left. It's got to be your weight distribution. It's got to be, bro. I don't know. I'm just going to practice. It don't hurt. Like, I'm just trying to <laughs> really get the feel for this thing. Okay. Look. being straight but you really gotta relax yeah okay there we go I'm doing it I'm doing it that's all that matters oh that's just cool the six gear pull harder than second on this bike if you actually move your hands you can actually like stare if you like fake push it shit crazy it's like a force ah. yeah 
his ass hating, bro. You just mad you ain't got cruise control like me, bitch. Even though we're in Mexico, the mission is not to get caught by the Mexican police here. See, right there, that's where you hit that invisible limiter. And it's, it stops, it's done for it. 124 is all she got. So if anybody wants to know how fast a show on floor s 1000 rr will do, it's 124 miles per hour. At least until you get your first service. And then we're gonna find that one out. Second gear pull. It pulls a lot harder in the higher gears. Okay, buddy. What you're not gonna do is get in front of me, dope a bunch of rocks, and then take a sweet ass song. Oh my god, could you imagine if they made these bikes with 8,000 RPM limits? <laughs> this uh, hard breaking before the real hard breaking comes, of course. When I get that first service, give it some nice little uh, punch to it while she's still a baby in the hopes that when she grows up, she's going to be one badass mother, you know what I'm saying? Make a little more horsepower than all the other ones that was babied on their break is. I got this from Brock's performance because he uh, made a video about breaking in the H2. He did 650 Eves and he broke it in real hard. And apparently when he's done bikes like that over the years, they made a couple more horsepower, a couple more peak horsepower, or maybe even just horsepower across the whole rev, rev range, than bikes that were not bro broken in that way. So I'm going to trust the guy on this one, you know. He definitely knows what he's doing when it comes to bikes. He's, he's put together some very fast ones, and a lot of people use his uh, parts on bikes, so... I'll take his word for it, and uh, I did that with the H2 as well, because I only got that bike with 68 miles. And so far, so good. I mean, I'm at like 8,000 now, and the bike's still running good. I bet you this, this Harley right here will probably run off on me right now. Or whatever the hell this is, I don't know my, my cruising bikes like that. Fuck it. Try Willie. What the hell was that? Bro, there's no way, bro. There's gotta be something wrong with my clutch, and I've been saying this since I got the damn thing. I can't even Willie the bitch. The fuck? 